Energieeffizienz und Anlagen. Energy efficiency and plant availability are key factors in the overall efficiency of fertilizer plants. There is a particular focus on the monitoring and maintenance of mechanical and rotating assets like pumps, compressors, heat exchangers and valves. Using the example of ammonia production, I want to show you how the SIMATIC PCS7 DCS with the condition monitoring library can be used to monitor mechanical assets. The pump monitoring block icon in the process picture shows the plant operator the electrical power consumption, the deviation of the pump head from the expected value and the efficiency of the pump. When we open the pump monitoring faceplate, the first thing we see is the pump characteristic curve. This shows the expected pump head in relation to the flow and the working point is on the characteristic curve. If the flow changes, the working point on the characteristic curve moves. Assume that the pump is in a good condition. I am now simulating wear to the pump in the form of a drop in the pressure on the pressure side. The wear to the pump gives rise to a deviation in respect of the characteristic curve. That means the pump is generating less pressure even though the flow is the same and the pump efficiency is also dropping due to this wear. In the case of large pumps, this can result in significant financial losses. To put this into figures, if we take a pump that is driven by a frequency controlled motor with 800 kW of power, this is a typical size for some of the larger equipment used in the production of ammonia, a 5% drop in efficiency is equivalent to 350,000 kilowatt hours of energy, or in financial terms, around 50,000 euros wasted each year. Pump monitoring offers another advantage. It increases plant availability. With pumps, cavitation is a major problem. Cavitation means the formation and sudden implosion of vapor bubbles in a flowing liquid that destroy the pump. In order to detect cavitation, the monitoring system calculates the NPSH value and displays this in another view of the pump monitoring faceplate. In this case, the working point must be above the characteristic curve, because for the pump, Dangerous cavitation range is below this. This view is of particular interest to plant operators because it enables them to intervene and take the pump out of the problematic cavitation range, thereby increasing the pump's lifespan and preventing plant downtimes. Spider diagrams can be used to monitor several pumps in a single display. I am now going to show you a spider diagram in the overview. This allows deviations to be detected promptly through pattern recognition and measures can therefore be taken to preserve the pump's lifespan. In this example, the blue bar reveals the onset of cavitation. If the cavitation increases, this will trigger an alarm. The PCS7 condition monitoring library offers the following benefits. Firstly, it increases plant availability as it allows process control intervention at the right time. Secondly, it improves energy efficiency with assets operating within the optimal operating range. And thirdly, it safeguards investments in the long term through preventive maintenance.